We are here again at Bush Gardens. Yay! And I want to thank you all, all 469 of you, all your fans out there wondering what are we going to do next? Well, I don't know. We're going to have fun today. Crowd levels are only supposed to be around 46, but we're already at where the tram drop off is and the line is that long and getting longer and getting longer so yeah we're at the Nairobi gate that's how long this uh, line is mm -hmm. so they just started I think opening up so the line should start moving slowly and we'll soon be through the security gate and through the ticketing booth so what are we gonna do today everything we're going to have fun. Now, so far from what we noticed, Falcon Fury is still down. Boo. Boo. So, we're going to just go ahead and give you a walkthrough, basically, today. A normal, typical day that we usually do at Bush Gardens. The first thing after the long wait in security and uh, the long line for checking in, we're going on our walk. And uh, there seems to be a little bit of a line here. But we're going to go over there and get ready with our wrap sheet. A little bit of bumpiness, almost feels like a cobblestone road. <laughs> so after we tackle the beast that is Iron Wazi, we head on over and see our gator friends. Oh, there's one right there. like they're all in the water. Yeah, they're all in the water with the turtles. None on land yet. None sunbathing. And we continue on. To cheetah hunt. Gorgeous. Unfortunately, uh, take two. Unfortunately, Cheetah Hunt was temporarily closed, so we're going to move on on our walk through uh, Bush Gardens. And uh, we're coming up to one of the best haunted houses for Hallow Scream. And I just some, just noticed something interesting about this haunted house. Uh, frame of reference, it's Stranglewood Estate. And um, it's got a for sale sign. Now I would love to purchase this. So, um, it is on the market by Stranglewood Re uh, Realty and probably not haunted houses <laughs> so uh they're advertising for the hollow scream coming up uh, in this year tickets as low as 37.99 now 
if you go ahead and scan that barcode. Let me get up close there so you can scan the screen. Scan that barcode there, that'll take you to the tickets. Now there is tickets there. Um, they start as low as $37.99. And it's gonna be for select nights between September 8th and October 31st. There is also an unlimited ticket for, I believe, uh, 100 and, 110 or $120. And for past members, you get a discount. I think it's like $99 or $89. So be sure to check out Hollow Scream this year and uh, help purchase this nice Stranglewood estate. Well, we had to skip over Cobra's Curse because that is also down temporarily. And uh, that was due to the communication system. Without a working, without the working PA system, they can't communicate, so they can't operate the ride. Which is probably something similar to what's going on with Cheetah. And it may be a common electrical issue, but who knows. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll check back later and find out if they got it prepared or not. So we got a ride in on Montu and uh, was coming back to check out Cheetah Hunt and Cheetah Hunt finally opened up. Cobra's Curse on the other hand did not. So we're now on Cheetah Hunt. Thanks to Marcus. Thank you Marcus. Good going. Uh, we did get a ride on uh, Cheetah Hunt, and it actually sounds like Cobra's Curse is running now. Can't win. Can't win. So, but uh, we're gonna come down here and check out the hippos, and there's one that is up there on land. A Nile crocodile. Oh, there he is, just in the water. Right there. And continuing on our journey through Bush Gardens. We come up to the lions and the hyenas. Now, if we managed to get on Cobra's Purse and Montu in the right order, we would have probably been coming down this path here. Let's see who's on whose side now. Let's see what we got in here. We have the pride in here. I'm not entirely sure where the other two are. 
or if they've already left us. But yeah, when you do come here and see our lion pride, make sure you give them a good farewell. They're heading to a different zoo to help repopulate the, the species. Isn't he gorgeous? We passed by the Serengeti Safari Base Camp. And didn't see any Nyalas, but we got the Thompson Gazelles over here. Along with a black crown crane in here. Continuing on our journey, our wonderful ambassadors. Wow. It's a baby giraffe skull. A baby giraffe skull. Yeah. We didn't lose any, did we? We did not lose any. Okay, no. good. No, this is a casting of one. Okay, good. Yeah. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Have a wonderful day. You too. Have a good day, guys. You too. Yeah, we want to make sure that we don't lose any of our baby giraffes. We've had three or four, I think, recently in the past year or two. So, onward to where we can check out our tortoise friends, Jimmy and Bubba, and ride the Serengeti Flyer. Yeah, no, Jimmy and Bubba. Oh, cool. So there's two, so there is one on each side. Yeah. Oh, we got Jimmy and Bubba hiding away in here. One of them's in the shade. Which, yeah, it's nice. And by the background, I think you can guess where we are now. The Serengeti Flyer. We're next in line. And it's still before one o'clock, so we're still on the mild mode. And then we're gonna go eat lunch, I think. But this area, they really did a nice job making it look all nice. So after riding the Serengeti Flyer, we passed by the wonderful girls. All girls. May I have your attention, please? The comfort of all of our guests. Hello, our, our elephant friends. We normally head this way and uh, <laughs> try to catch a ride on Falcon's Fury, but the catch car is stuck up there and it's been closed. So we noticed that uh, the catch car is stuck up there and it's probably due to people are up there working on it doing some maintenance but yeah it's been down for maintenance for a little while and uh well we'll have to find out what's going on with it but uh now it's the time for us to get some lunch so we're heading over to the Dragonfire grill and we managed to catch the shadow at the right time. Unlock the wonders of nature. Well, going into here, into Pantopia, that's one thing we definitely get to do. Now there is a story, uh, I don't know if I can see it anymore, but, uh, uh, some adventure crashed his balloon up here and you see all these doors well there's a story behind all these doors in Pantopia and the guy who crashed his balloon up here oh no there's the balloon I guess that's a balloon over there well he's holding the keys to all these doors And 
yeah, it's currently closed. Unfortunately. We had our lunch at uh, Dragonfire Grill, and as you can notice, the catch car is still up there. So we are now heading towards, um, well, Jangala, and then we're going to head over to Stanleyville to catch up some rides on Chikra. Now, depending on the mood, we may actually take a left up here. Um, it all depends. Uh, we may want to go on uh, Congo River Rapids. Yeah. Okay. If it's not crowded. So if it's not too crowded, we're going to hop on Congo River Rapids, which is taking a left over here. Fantastic. You bang a bang at bumper cars. And the Congo train station is still closed. And we are coming on Montu uh, on Kumba. Kumba just celebrated 30 years of giving people wonderful rides. Can you conquer the roar of Koompa? Sure enough, this will be like a five or a ten minute wait. <coughs> it, it's hard to give Koomba too much love. refreshing let's see what we got over here doesn't look like too much of a weight Got a ride on the Congo River Rapids. And we're trying to move through this area quickly because it was crowded around Chick-fil-A. Uh, just to let you know, yeah, this is a time where all the school kids will be out and about on their field trips. So, um, just to give you a rough estimate, there was probably about 15, maybe 20, coaches that were out there in the parking lot so yeah a lot of kids wouldn't you say dear huh wouldn't you say a lot of kids yeah yeah too many too many well that's it um we're heading over to shikra now to get on a ride before it's gets too long of a line and then maybe get wet. Well, on our way to uh, Shikra, we found uh, some more people that like to watch us. What's your name? Lizzie. Lizzie? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching, Lizzie. You're welcome. We're gonna have her on YouTube pretty soon. Yep, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, yeah. Depends on how late we stay today. Yeah. Well, have fun. Have fun. Have a great day today. Thank you. You're here with she your school? Huh? Yeah, we're right now trying to look for them right now. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. What school are you guys from? Idea Victor. Where's that at? Um, I really don't know. It's like by... It's a bit far from here. But not too 
Okay. okay. Cool. We're actually gonna hop on Shikra and then we're gonna get wet by Shikra. So we're hopping in the elevator to head upstairs to get a ride on Shikra. And uh, thanks to Nosha, she goes ahead and puts a time on our rap sheet for, well, now. right now. It, she didn't write now, but yeah. It, it didn't seem like that much of a wait anyway, so. It, the line wasn't going all the way down both flights of stairs, so. Now we're gonna go and ride Chikra. I am drenched. After taking a ride on Shikra, we got into the Shikra splash zone and got soaking wet. So, on with our journey. Where to now? Well, not really um, in a tigress mood. In a tigress mood, but sometimes we may go over in that direction towards Tigris. We also have the log flume over here. So Stanleyville is, but we're, we're already soaking wet, so. But Stanleyville is loaded with rides and entertainment and quite a bit of things to do. So I, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Lori's Landing and head over that way. But yeah, we did have our fun getting wet. And we'll show you right where we got wet. You can tell by the mist that somebody just recently got wet through here. But a guaranteed place to get wet is right there. Guaranteed to get soaking wet. And we have the smokehouse over here. Good place to eat for some good barbecue. And if you notice over here to the left, yes, the bathrooms are still under refurbishment. So we're gonna head on up the ramp here. Here, hang on. while they still make some construction over there. Uh, the Smokehouse Grill has indoor and semi-outdoor eating. Another one of our favorite places, right here at Lori's Landing. Yeah, we're gonna head our way over here into the Bird Gardens. And along with the bird gardens, off to our left-hand side, we have Sesame Street Place. Fun for the whole entire family, mainly the kids. Here's the home of Elmo. Uh, Abby Kadabi, I think. Cookie Monster. Uh, Cookie Monster. Yeah, I hear him in the background. Isn't that Cookie Monster singing? Yep. Or is that Oscar the Grouch? No, it's Cookie. So. 
Here's the Safari of Fun at Bush Gardens presented by Sesame Street. And they got some people on the stage. Yeah. We are done with the food and wine festival and now we have Viva La Musica and everything has a Latin twist. We have chimchurri beef skewer, mojo pork and a pina colada triple. We have Latin music and over there we have a fish taco and uh, uh, a mole, mole beef. We're gonna see what else they got up here and see what they got going on. But they have concerts and everything. And all the foods and drinks have a Latin twist to it. Yeah. Over here. Fiesta! Moho, Moho pulled pork and... Yeah, black beans and rice. A churro sundae and a caramel plant. Blonde. Now there is a few booths around here. here to find out what kind of goodies they have because I'm looking for some kind of snacky treat. Now let's see what they have over here. Oh, I see a violinist. Sofa, hair, joy. Sponge cake soap in three types of milk. First. Oh, okay. There we go. Hello. Welcome to Viva La Musica. Yeah, you know it. I got I got my own sign. Look at that. I'm matching. Look at that. Matching sign. How we doing today? We're doing great. Awesome. And we're right back where we started, right back to Iron Gwazi, guys. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get another ride of Iron Gwazi in, and we're gonna go ahead and try Cobra's Curse. Um, it was about an hour wait, so we'll see what we can do about it. But um, yeah, so that is a walkthrough, basically, of Bush Gardens. <laughs> What's funny is he took all three bags that were tossed in there. A little greedy, isn't he? Oh, another bag just got tossed. Oh, there's more over there too? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my bags and going. <laughs> I 
Uh, guys, another wonderful day here at Bush Gardens from the Bush Gardens Junkies here. I hope you enjoyed the uh, basically a walkthrough tour. We uh, had quite a bit of fun. We got wet. We got to ride rides. And we got to meet people. And that's the best part, isn't it? Yep. Meeting the people. Yep. So, thank you. And, uh, well, I want to say actually thank you to all 471. That's right. We gained a couple of new subscribers here today. So, from 469. And as we close out the day, we're closing out the day with 471 subscribers. Thank you all. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Catch you later. See ya.